So here we are, it's March 26th, 2020, and you kind of have to date stamp everything because the world of COVID-19 is changing so quickly. Amazingly enough, it was only three weeks ago that the first COVID-19 case was identified in Colorado. And in that time, everything has changed. Um, I think, you know, we care for some of the most vulnerable people. Uh, they have sometimes pre-existing lung conditions. Sometimes they, they don't, but they now have a lung condition because they have lung cancer. And, uh, you know, we're trying to protect our patients. So we've exported some things to, to telehealth, uh, which is good and bad. So it's certainly a lot more convenient. It's very difficult to truly assess a patient through telehealth. Um, I'm fine, uh, you know, phoning people and completely failing to put in billing. Uh, the, the, uh, the people above me who run the hospital will probably come breathing down my neck saying you actually have to make income at some point. So the reimbursement for telehealth is still a work in progress. Uh, doing telehealth across state lines in the USA is a big deal. So I can give a remote second opinion to anywhere, anywhere in the world because I'm just an opinion. But if I'm trying to be the treating physician, I can't practice across state lines or across country lines. And so telehealth has got restrictions, both legal and reimbursement wise, uh, that we have to address. When the patients are coming in here, uh, again, we're trying social distancing. They're only allowed to bring one family member with them. We're trying to minimize the number of medical providers in the room. Uh, any members of staff that can work from home are working from home, and that has an effect in terms of the availability of other services. Uh, other services. It, it takes us a time to get a biopsy. It takes us a time to get a scan now, uh, whereas previously it was like, you know, what time do you want it? That has also had a knock-on effect in terms of accruals to clinical trials. A lot of the research support staff are working from home. So we're still accruing, but we're prioritizing trials with a much higher efficacy that they couldn't get outside of the trial. And the kind of randomized studies or the observational studies are very much deprioritized or just put on hold. I think where we hope the future is gonna be is um, recognize that we don't quite know that patients with lung cancer are any greater risk of contracting COVID-19, but if they were, because they have some pre-existing organ dysfunction, sometimes, or comorbidities, their risk of getting sick is probably higher. And I think that the goal is, is prevention. You know, over the next few weeks or months, a number of different things will happen. So either we will get some degree of herd immunity because people have uh, contracted this and then become immune. I think developing a test that we don't currently have to say, look, I've been exposed and now I'm immune and I can go back about my normal duties would be amazing. We don't have that at present. Even just testing for active virus in infection, uh, our turnaround time was more than uh, 10 days a few weeks ago. It's now coming down to about four days and then the hope is eventually it's going to be down to about four hours. And it's only by testing that we'll get real data and we'll actually know if we're impacting the natural history of the spread of this virus. So we're just doing it day by day. I think a lot of people are scared. A lot of people are worried. But you also have to understand when you're treating a patient with an active cancer, that's a clear and present danger. And that has to be prioritized over a theoretical risk of COVID-19. And you know, we have to, to deal with that uncertainty on a day-by-day -day basis. Um, my own team here has been fantastic. When I speak to my colleagues around the world and in different countries, they are doing amazing work. And I have to say, I have never been more proud to, to work in healthcare. Um, I think this is, this is our finest hour. Thanks.